All right, we're back now in the CI kitchen, cooking up a storm with Jacob Dickey. Okay, so earlier we made our brownies, and as I recall, the box said for a nine by 13, but we made them a little bit smaller. We did, I put them in a nine by nine pan here, and I also put parchment paper, and I folded the corners in, and that's going to allow this to come out really easy once they cool. You'll let them cook for about, or bake, I suppose. Uh, you're gonna let them bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. A little bit under is better, because you want oh, them nice yeah. and dewy here. And when I set them down here, this parchment paper is great. Easy they clean. They come right on out. And I already pre-cut them, too, because we like to do things a little faster. Oh, yeah. I know you just want to eat. You know, I will tell you the best way to cut brownies is with a plastic knife. Like really? Like Larry, yes. Well, That's we how they don't, like, get all messy. Messy. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a little messy there, but that's okay. <laughs> so we've got them ready here. They've cooled for a little bit, and they're nice and fudgy, probably still a little bit warm. I think we want to get them plated in, in serving, yeah, right? We want to try them. It. What's so, your go-to uh, serving brownies? i tell brownies. you what. Isn't it like brownie a la mode, is oh, that yeah. what they call it, with ice, ice cream? cream. And, yeah. yeah, so yeah. we're going to do that here. Uh, are you an inside or are you an edge? I'm an inside. You're an inside. Well, let me just uh, <laughs> move out of the way here. Although I don't really discriminate against any brownies. That's true. They're, yeah, they're yeah. all delicious. Yeah, so here we go. Look at the inside, how nice and fudgy that is in there. You can even see the chocolate chip the chunks, chunks in there. there. It's got nice texture. It looks really good and delicious. And it's ready to be paired with some ice cream. Maybe you have a little bit of uh, toppings, like some strawberry toppings and some fudge. So I'm going to put a a little bite on the plate there. You can kind of catch that chocolate chunk on the edge there. Those are just riddled throughout, ready to be eaten up and gobbled down. Uh, and again, men, remember, if you forgot Valentine's Day, this is a great way that you guys going to love. She's going to love it. Fair word of warning, though, she may make you bake a lot more. Oh, has nice. that been the case at the Dickey house? E yes, it has been. Every time my fiance comes over, she says, make me brownies. <laughs> Like, well, you know, do you have big Valentine plans besides uh, brownie making? Uh, I can't reveal. She might be watching. You know, it's always a surprise <laughs> in the how it works. So we got a little bit of ice cream with it. You want a little hot fudge on top? Of course. Yeah, so we're going to just drizzle a little bit of hot fudge and put that on top of there. And I think this is ready to go. That looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? It looks amazing. And couldn't it have been simpler, even with your five magic ingredients? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, there's we've got that coffee, we've got the salt, the vanilla, the chocolate chunks, and the buttermilk here. Ooh, okay. Heather's well, going to decide. Moment of truth here. Yeah. I think only like once or twice you've said something was really terrible. Is that right? <gasps> I've never said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm teasing. I am sad I missed out on the snow cream, though. That's true. Yeah, you were, I think you were snowed in. Yeah, you? I was snowed yeah, in. Yeah, so that's how it goes, so. Mm, I can taste the coffee. Yeah, it comes in. It's not too strong. Uh -uh. It's a nice flavor. It gives you a little bit of that mocha, but it mm -hmm. really balances well with that chocolate in there, uh, that chocolate chunks. And then I don't oh, know if you man. catch much of the salt. You really can't taste it. No. Nope. But it helps cut back on that sweetness and let the other flavors really come on through. They're giving me the wrap. I guess that means I'm done. Yeah, but you can still eat after the commercial. <laughs> okay, very good. Do you want to read that for yeah, me? Yeah, sure. Uh, remember, you can get this recipe and more on my Facebook page. Head on over there. I've got a link to it. And if you got any other things you like to do, let me know that. Of course, you can get the recipe on CILiving.tv. Good job. Thanks. <laughs>